I'm Sarah Gallegos, and this is Absolute Beginner Machine Embroidery. And in this episode, we're talking about different ways to add embroidery designs to napkins and tea towels. It's a really fun way to decorate your place for the different seasons. You can quickly add little embellishments to napkins and tea towels. They're quick, easy gifts, and like I said, a great way to add a little bit of spring touch or holiday flavor to your home. So you can work with lots of different projects and add embroideries to them. You could create your own napkins, like this one here is one that we've created just out of a piece of linen or muslin fabric and done embroidery on it. Or you could even purchase ready-made napkins. These were some cute little spring-colored napkins I found and just added little Easter eggs to them really quick and easy in the corners of the napkins. So a really fun way to, again, just kind of spruce up plain napkins. You could add lettering, add names, or just a themed type embroidery design. Now, I've also got some towels here that I've added designs to, and this one's kind of a fun one just a little welcome towel. And it's just a floral design with lettering on the band of a basic tea towel. And I just added a little fabric embellishment right to the bottom of it, just to give it a little something extra. You can find ready-made tea towels and napkins all over the place. I oftentimes shop the clearance racks at my favorite stores and look for whatever I can find on sale. And then I just add something to it to really make it special. So that's just another little cute little springtime one. And here I have a cute blue towel. This has a little bit of a texture to it. It's a waffle weave kind of a fabric. And when I added this little chick to it, I can see that through the body of the little chick, I can see a little bit of the fiber of the towel. Sometimes you find that when you're working with dark fabrics and stitching something light on top of it, or even the reverse. If you were working with something white and stitching something black, you may find that you end up seeing a little bit of your background fabric shining through the stitching. So I wanna share with you one of my favorite tools to prevent that from happening. So if I were to stitch that again, I would use a little bit of an, a permanent embroidery topper. This is called Stabilize It and it works really well. This particular type of embroidery topper is permanent. Sometimes we use a water soluble or a heat away topper to kind of separate the fibers of a, of a base fabric, like if you're doing a towel and you've got the texture of the terry cloth from your thread. And that will prevent any of the fibers from peeking through the thread after you've been using the product. But if you use a wash away stabilizer and you wash your towel or napkin or whatever you've embroidered, you'll find that that wash away washes away. And eventually your fibers are going to peek through the threads. And the same thing happens with color. And that's where I really like to use one of these permanent toppers. It comes in a lot of different colors. You can get it in clear and black and white or even in assorted colors as well. And it's just a really thick piece of almost like a plastic. It kind of feels like a shower curtain. And you literally stitch it right into you, your project and trim away the excess at the end. And it will prevent any fibers from peeking through or colors from shining through. So here I've got a little towel that I'm going to embroider some shamrocks on. We're doing a St. Patrick's Day here. And hooping a towel can be a challenge. You can hoop an entire towel inside of your embroidery hoop, but it's a little bit harder on the hands and on the fingers to try and get the inner ring to sit inside of your outer hoop ring and then get it tight enough for embroidery. So generally speaking, when I'm working with a towel like this, I don't hoop it. I usually just use some sort of a sticky stabilizer and float it on top of the fabric. If your machine has a basting feature, that's another really nice option. You can actually baste the fabric to the stabilizer so that it doesn't shift and move as you stitch. So here I've got my hooped hoop with a piece of stabilizer inside of it. And this is called Stick Tear Tear Away. It's one of my favorites. And it's paper sided on one side and on the other it's fabric. And you wanna make sure that when you hoop it, you have it paper side up. That paper is gonna peel off to reveal the sticky stabilizer underneath. And in order to do that, you're simply going to score around the edges of the hoop with a pin. So I've just got a regular stick pin here. And then create a big X. And now you can peel the paper right off and reveal the sticky inside of your embroidery area. There we go. And it's okay if you feel like you kind of poke your stabilizer a little bit, it's pretty sturdy. So those little scoring marks will not affect the stabilizer as you're stitching. It won't cause it to rip or tear underneath of your fabric. So there we go. So now I've got this nice sticky stabilizer. And then I'm going to place my, nap or my towel right on top of the hoop. Now you could make some centering marks where you'd like to center your design. And on most embroidery hoops, you'll find that you've got little registration marks on both sides in the center of top and bottom so that you can easily center. I have 
little lines from where I had my towel folded in thirds, and I'm going to kind of use those as my guide and make sure they're nice and even with the edges of my embroidery hoop. And I can see that my bottom edge is nice and straight, just like this, and then press it into place. Now the sticky stabilizer is gonna do a pretty good job of holding onto this, but we could also add a couple of pins to it just to make sure that nothing's going to shift as I'm stitching. So I've got a nice long straight pin. I can just kind of push it right through the stabilizer and the towel itself. And you'll notice that I am applying these pins on the very edges of my embroidery hoop just to make sure they're completely out of the way of the embroidery design as the machine is stitching. You certainly wouldn't want to stitch over one of your pins. You could break your needle or even stitch the pin into your project. I have done that before. <laughs> and it's definitely a challenge to get it back out. So make sure that you have them well out of the way. There we go. So next, I'm going to apply my permanent topper. And to get this to stay in place, I'm gonna use a product called KK2000. It's a temporary spray adhesive, and it allows me to stick this topper right to my towel. And it's nice to work with because it doesn't tend to gum up the needle too bad. When you're working with sticky products, sometimes you get a little bit of a buildup on the tip of your needle. It looks like a little ball, and you can just pull it right off, and this isn't too sticky. Now I'm gonna spray the back of my topper, but I'm gonna take it away from my sewing machine and anything around my sewing area. You could even do this in a, in a side of a cardboard box or take it outside. And I'm simply going to lay it right down. And this stuff is great because it holds in place really nicely, but then just pulls right off. So when we remove the topper, it'll come off really nice and easy. So I've got it stuck in place and I'm going to move the product to my machine and stitch it out. Lift up my foot. There we go. And when you're working with a big project like this, a towel or a napkin, it's really important to make sure that you have all of the excess away from the edges of the hoop. You wanna be sure that you don't accidentally tuck one side underneath of the hoop or the back of it. Just make sure it's all nice and flat and out of the way because if you tuck it under, it will get stitched under and you're going to have to tear all those stitches out and then restitch. And that's not fun. So you wanna make sure that you've got everything cleared out of the way and now we're ready to start. Okay, so my design is finished stitching, so I'll remove the hoop from the machine. And now we get to remove the topper. Now you can get in there with a pair of scissors and just kind of cut up to the stitching line. You wanna use a nice sharp pair of scissors. I really like my curved duckbill applique scissors because I can slide them underneath of the topper or an applique fabric, whatever you're working with, and you can cut right up to the stitching without having to worry about cutting the base fabric below. Got to make sure we don't do that. And then the stabilize at topper just kind of perforates right around my stitching. So I can just pull and I'm supporting the stitching with my finger as I go. And I'm leaving it in the hoop when I do this because that keeps everything nice and taut and flat for me. And then I would get inside these smaller areas with my scissors to release the stabilize at topper and just pull the rest of it off. And even with the spray adhesive, it pulls off really nicely. So again, you'd wanna just get in there with the pointy end of your applique scissors just to kind of remove the rest that's inside those smaller areas. It's a good like TV work watching project. Take the pins out, and now we can easily take the fabric out of the hoop because that stick tear tearaway is a tearaway stabilizer. So all you have to do is pull up on your project and it pulls right out and you can easily remove any excess from the back of the towel. Just get in there and pull out those little tiny pieces, and it doesn't affect the movement of the towel, it doesn't make it rough. And again, I've got a nice light colored design stitched on top of that dark green background without any of it shining through because of that permanent topper. So I hope that I have inspired you to pick up some fun napkins and tea towels and add some seasonal kind of design so that you've got cute little gifts and a nice home accent. This episode of Absolute Beginner Machine Embroidery has been brought to you by Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Madeira, color your life. Hatch Software, bring embroidery to life. Furniture provided by Koala, fine sewing furniture, custom built in America.